In a hybrid world, as applications and workloads move to the cloud, enterprises need a way to connect users in their branches to these cloud applications in a secure way and apply consistent policies as their on-prem network. For applications running in Azure, you can use Azure Virtual WAN to connect branch sites to Azure. You could do this manually or through automation. Cisco SD-WAN Cloud OnRamp for Multi-Cloud extends SD-WAN connectivity from branch sites to Azure Virtual WAN with SD-WAN Network Virtual Appliances inside a Virtual WAN Integrated Virtual Hub. You can automate it through vManage or using a managed app from Azure Marketplace. Cisco SD-WAN is one of the first enterprise SD-WAN partners to support this modern cloud connectivity architecture. Let's take a typical use case in which a customer would like users in the branch to access workloads in Azure. First, we will push the config template to Azure using REST APIs. This will create Azure Virtual WAN, Virtual Hub, and deploy a pair of Catalyst 8000 virtual routers. SD-WAN Controller vManage will discover host vNets and group them logically using vNet tags. Next, we will declare intent to access these tagged VNets from the branches. This will automatically bring up connectivity between branch and host VNets. Let's look at how this is enabled. In Cloud Global settings, we can choose the software version and the SKU scale size of our Cloud Gateway instances. Cloud Gateways, like all Edge devices, are configured through a template. The provided default Azure template is intuitive and simple. We now attach some device serial numbers. We add some local parameters. The template is now complete and devices are attached. Using Cloud OnRamp for multi-cloud solution, we can now create our cloud gateway with just a few clicks, inputting some variables and adding the serial numbers that we attach to our template. In Azure, we can see the virtual WAN that was created. We will now discover our VNets in Azure. We can take one or multiple VNets and group them logically using a virtual network tag. Now that we have grouped and tagged our VNets, we can declare our intent that our VPN 10 branch should have access to that workload. In Azure, we can see that the VNet connection to the vHub has been created. We can visualize these changes similarly in Azure Portal. To summarize, using a template and a few clicks, we created a virtual WAN, a virtual hub, and instantiated a pair of Catalyst 8000 virtual routers. We also logically grouped host VNets and allowed access from specific branches to these VNets. Learn more at cisco.com slash go slash onramp.